course, you can find more debate coverage at 6.30 on NBC Nightly News. But we're continuing the conversation right now. Joining us in the studio this morning or this evening is Larry Kabrowski with the Charleston County GOP and Richard Rissick. He's with the Democratic Party. So this is obviously an exciting time for the American people. But tonight, I mean, Richard, you mentioned this. It's probably not going to be as highly watched as the other debates. Well, say. I think at this point in time, the polls have shown that the vast majority of Americans have made up their mind, and as the numbers are bearing out, you know, Donald, Donald Trump is a failed candidate. He's put forth failed ideas, and, and as any failed candidate now, he lacks even the decency to uphold this democracy. He's now pillaring the very fabric of America by saying, the vote is rigged, your vote won't count. He doesn't have the common decency, even or love of this country, to stand up and at least be a patriot and say, I believe in America. It shows every reason why he is unfit to be president of this country. But in states like South Carolina, Larry, Trump is le leading the polls. Well, let me say this, you know, hurling insults or adjectives at this stage really doesn't, you know, do anything. I think what we're going to see as we get closer to the election, people that are partisan, either <coughs> Rick's side or my side, are pretty much lined up. And what we have to do tonight, there is a decision. You know, as chairman, I try to talk to everybody I can, whether it's the person cutting my hair or you know, at the grocery store, and you find out that to those who aren't really partisan in either side, you know, let's be candid. They look at Hillary, they look at how the, somebody who, you know, the compromise, the FBI, the use of the State Department as an ATM machine, and they look at, you know, Donald Trump, is he had the character to be president. Those are the people that, you know, they're going to have to appeal to tonight. Oh, the decision oh, oh. is for those who... I do want to ask you, Larry, though, do you think that Donald Trump will be... Donald Trump, or do you think he should be civil tonight? Hillary? I think he should be the highlight. If you ask me to highlight the issues, I think that, you know, from my perspective, it, it's a very concerning thing. Hillary Clinton has, you know, shown that for her, it's all about power. She's used the government. The, let me say the, the, this. The, let me let me <laughs> you go through. Richard, no, you you've been going on. You've been going on for two minutes. To Hillary talk. Clinton, her very first act Richard, when she came out of law school, and, and was to go was to go help. door to door and help disadvantaged children and disabled children attain public school. She has served the public good. Her very first work involved in the Senate and as, as a president's wife was to create S-CHIP, which has provided health care for children who don't have money. Poverty health care programs that are still the bedrock of this country. You can't show me one thing in Donald Trump's entire existence we have 30 seconds where he's left, ever so cared about this. anybody but Donald Trump. Trump. Has done. Let me just say this. You know, I have a two-year-old granddaughter, and I was reading fairy tales to her last night. There's more truth in that than what you said about Ke what Hillary. Let me Trump say this. Yet. Come to the debate watch tonight. We're going to have an enthusiastic bunch of Republicans on the Yorktown tonight. We filled it up to capacity. So I ask anybody out there to, you know, please come show your enthusiasm. And the bottom line is it, it's not posturing, uh, posturing. If people like the direction of the country, they have their choice on Richard's side. If they think <laughs> you need to drain the swamp, there's an alternative. And that's what it, it's going to come down to. And, it, and, the people and if you'd decide. like to live in a fact and reality based universe, I'd suggest you vote for the Democratic Party. And gentlemen, because this has been so much fun, we're actually going to have you guys back on later after the debate so we can talk about this again. But for now, we're going to move on. Thank right, you guys thank so you for much. Having us. I appreciate always it. Always a pleasure. Always Larry, good always good to see you, you sir. Good. good. All right. Friendly after all of this. Okay. <laughs> Moving on.